Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Jack Deck, and today we're playing some more satisfactory on our experimental alternus meg alternus alternate mega base series. So, in our last episode, we finally started working on the new stuff. I did not mean to do that. Uh, we finally started working on the new stuff, and we've got our quartz coming in and being turned into whatever the hell they're turned into. We'll go and have a look at that in a minute. But I had some homework last night, and I kid you not, it took hours. We got. We had to build a second floor of, um, don't look to the right, I'll explain it in a minute, just, just don't look. We had to get a second floor of wire to get a second line of cable, which is also coming out there. As you can see, it's all flowing properly. Now, these goddamn things are an absolute nightmare to work with, and the reason that I've not adjusted these is just because. Although, I could. No, I'm not, because I know what I'd have to do. Don't ever, ever build screws and put them on your main bus. Just don't do it. These bloody things are an absolute nightmare to work with because you've got to build... The first one's easy, yeah, that's fine, and then you build that across and that across. But then to get these out on this side, you've got to build stackers all the way up to the places that you want them in. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think it looks dead cool, and yes, I have done it with the copper as well because it needed to come over the wire. I could have quite easily used ramps, but we wanted to get the elevators in, so I've got the elevators in. Um, but yeah, don't ever put screws on the belt. It's just stupid. Make them in place. Lesson learned. I will never do it again. Um, so yeah, all the factories are in, and it looks quite neat, actually, them all being boxed in. But um, they're all painted. That was the tedious bit. I bet you I spent over an hour painting these two things, because I had to go out and get more paint as well for them. But we've got it all for this one belt here. And this one belt here, I decided we're not going to split out of this. It comes along the bus and then jumps over. Because if I'm ever running back, I want these to still not take my head off. So we can just run straight under it now. And we've got the reinforced iron plates coming back and across. They are only used in modules. Modular frames even, not modules. So um, we're okay to use as many of these as we need. And we've got 120 going, so that'll be it. And one other thing. Why did I not just bring this out and under the there? Anybody? Why did I make it all tangled up? Quartz crystals, that's what they are. And they're just raw quartz. So we've got our quartz crystals. We've got our cable. And we've got our reinforced iron plates. And we already did the, did the maths for this yesterday. But we are going to have another quick look. Let me just get some poo in here. And we want to go around about there. Because I don't want to be looking at this like we were. So, quartz aren't an issue. Because we've got a full line of 450 coming out of the factory just behind me. So 450 divided by the 18.75, we can get 24 machines. Beautiful. Cable, we've got another line of 450 coming in, so that's 26.25. We can get 17.142857142.9. So we can get 17 machines, basically. In reinforced iron plates, we've got 120 being made at the moment. Divide that by 1.7, gives me a nice easy number of 16. So, we're going to be able to get 16 machines for, for the crystal oscillators. And 16 times by the 1.875 will give me 30 per minute. I don't know if that's as many as we need, but that's as many as I can make. So, I think we need to crack on because I've got three lines to get in here and it's going to be an absolute nightmare. First though, we need to get 16 of these down. Now, I have already spaced it out and these should all fit in the right places with a one gap between them. So, let's go chuck them all down. I generally know where it goes. I did have a little bit of a bug yesterday with this. It would not let me place the eighth one. It kept saying floor too steep. Until I deleted some. So I think it was a... Uh... Don't. Don't do this to me. You were fine yesterday. Floor isn't too steep. I think it was a graphical bug with the numbers in the middle of the screen. I think I'd actually run out of resources and it just didn't want to tell me. Which isn't a problem. The marketplace is just there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Come on. Six. Oh, we've got to do another eight yet. We've not done. 
Nowhere near. See, floor too steep. It's not. It's not too steep. Don't do this to me, game. No, it's got to be in line. I don't understand why it's doing this. There is nothing wrong with the floor. And it is the eighth one again. Maybe if I just delete a random one in the middle. What is wrong with you? And that will have jumped forward again. I don't want you to jump forward. I want you to go in the goddamn place that you're meant to go in. See, floor is too steep nearly indefinitely, it would seem. I don't get it. It's in the right place, because this middle beam should go there. And then all of a sudden, it gets fine after that. Is there something underneath that's, like, screwing with it? There shouldn't be. How about if I go to the other side and start placing these ones? Right, there's the line. And I think it's meant to go there because it all lines up on the front grill. We have got a rather large space in the middle. Yeah, it all lines up on the front grill. So you should be on this one and go there. I don't get it. I don't get it. You're in line. I really don't want to have one out of place because that's just going to upset me so much. Let me delete all this floor and build it back down. Just in case there's something weird going off with the tiles. I don't know why. It's just this spot. I did encounter this yesterday when I was planning the spacing out for this. But I have no idea why it's doing it. Come on. Because they did fix it so that you can place things on the joins within reason. So I don't know what its problem is. I deleted far more than I needed to. I may just have to have it out of line, which is going to just annoy the living daylights out of me. Um... Where is the middle point? Alright, then it's having a complete fit now and not working at all. Oh my god. So what was the problem? <clears throat> it's got to have been something with one of the tiles, but I do not understand that. Oh yeah, we kind of need to put this back in. And watch this say floor too steep now. It didn't. Thank Jesus. They're all in a straight line. They're all in a straight line. That is wonderful. I am starting to worry about power a little bit. Admittedly, we've got to go out and have a look at the steam geysers yet. But I didn't want to do that yet. Let me just go and get some more. And it does look quite cool from over here. I like the squareness of it. It looks like a proper industrial factory. It does help with the um, second floors popping up here and there now. To uh, give it the look that I want. But still, I don't think we're going to be able to uh, make a substantial amount of supercomputers. I don't think we've got that amount of resources. I really don't. And motors. What else did we need? Mm, nothing else for these, that's fine. Right, let's go and plop these down, and then we've got to start working on the belts, which I have intended to, to wrap around the back and then come down this side. I would split it like I did there, but no, it would look too messy, I think. And then we've got to get the mergers behind. That will do that last, because at least then I can do that bit properly and fairly quickly and not screw it up. But 30 per minute of these, I think, will be enough don't you dare. What is too steep?
I don't understand it. It's got to be something with one of these tiles, right? Please don't do this to me, game. I need it all to be straight. Otherwise, I'm just going to cry. Nope. That will make the floor slightly too steep. Are we going to work now? Are we going to play? <laughs> I hate you. <clears throat> See, that one works. And that one works. And that one works. And that one works. Excuse me. So what is wrong with you? Right there. Right. I'm deleting a great big chunk of it again because it's clearly something that's going stupid. We fixed the other one, so I should be able to fix this one. Is it because just of how, just of how, just how I'm trying to place them? Are you not meant to place them like this? Is there some secret technique to placing manufacturers, or am I literally just struggling with the bug? I've not had it anywhere else in the base. There's something wrong with the tiles, dudes that make the game. There is something wrong with the tiles. Right, so we've got 16 machines to hook up with three lines, and I've already wasted 12 minutes crying about that not working properly. Anyway, so we're going with this recipe. I know it's not the good recipe, but I'm not even making the AI things yet, and I am already struggling for rubber. I may swap it up at some point, but I wouldn't put you money on that, because... Once we've got most of this done, I think we're going to wrap the series up. Lag spike. Just give it a minute. It's getting even longer. I'm still sure it's auto saves. Because it happens at a fairly routine interval. So, yeah, that tells me it's just when it's auto saving. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It is a rather large base. So, I assume it's a rather large file size now. And if it's not been optimised and all that jazz that they can do, then yeah. And we also don't want you connected up there. We want to get power in. Excuse me. The normal fashion. And there you go. There you go. Beautiful. At least there's not many power lines to put in. That's the nice easy bit for this build. Unless it tells me the floor's uneven. <laughs> anyway. Like I say, let me know if you guys have encountered it, or if you even know what's causing it. It seems to be something with how the tiles are placed on the floor. I don't know if they've, if they were facing a different direction or something stupid, or if the game is just generally having some sort of fit, or if it just doesn't want me to build this. I mean, let me know, game. I'd quite happily not build it, but let's have a look at power. Actually, how are we doing for power? <sighs> we're using about a third. It's not good, and that's because I took computers and the heavy modular frames that we've started using a ridiculous amount of power. The power. Yeah, that'll be fine. Admittedly, it's not on the same side of the tile as the other one, but it's not going to work. Oh, I'm about to run out of cable. Really? You yeah, couldn't... I really should have looked before I ran back away. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. We've got enough encased industrial beams, concrete, metal plates, and by metal plates I mean iron plates. Yeah, we should be good for this. So, let me just grab some cable and we'll get back to it. Uh, just a few stacks, why not? I normally grab four nowadays and then we can sort all that back out and I definitely ran the wrong way. If you can avoid it, don't jump across your bus either. I'm a font of knowledge now when it comes to this game. Things not to do, that is. Not actual proper things to do. Admittedly, this has turned into like a little bit of a tutorial series. Hopefully it is helping some people out. Even if it is just showing you how not to do things. But yeah, I am trying my best. I promise you. I'm enjoying it. 
even the tedious bits. I'm generally a creature of habit. I like repetitive things. So, uh, yeah. This game has got that down to a T. And you know when they do finally bring something in that lets you just pick up one set of buildings and duplicate it. It's just not going to be the same game for me. Not with the hours I've put in ripping things out and putting them back in the exact same places and whatnot. You know what? I am going to get the mergers in there. Because why not? Let's have a nice easy section. I'm even tempted to run it straight back to where it's going to be on the bus. Uh, on the bus? On the marketplace, sorry. And... Come on. In you go. In you go. And in you go. So. We will have... The sulfur is going to be close coming under that one, isn't it? It's fine. It's fine. One, two. I've got to have it on this one. Because if you think, we'll have like explosives on this one, supercomputers, high-speed circuits, and the AI doodars. Oh, beacons. I missed beacons. AI doodars, high-speed connections, supercomputers... Beacons and then probably explosives is how it's going to go. So this one needs to come onto this line. I know it's a bit preemptive, isn't it, for me to be doing this already, but screw it. And I'm not matching it up to the other ones. It's just going to go back as far as possible. And I did actually try to place these down yesterday, but apparently I didn't have the inventory space. Uh, the space... Uh, no, the items in my inventory, eventually. And then we want the little shop window. Good. I mean, I could place the rest of them down, but me. Let's move on to what we actually need to do. So I think it's going to be better if we start with the first, well, the lowest belt, and then work our way around. So, you middle, you middle. You know what? I can actually bring this all in a touch further. I don't really want it to dip there if it's going to be in the way of the sulfur. Because the sulfur is going to be one high. Go away, lag. So, where do we actually want it to go? I think there. And then you're going to be one high. And then you're going to be two high. Um, it's already too high. I was um, bringing it down for some reason. There we go. And you do need drop him. Let's bring you down there. That should be fine. It's a bit steep, isn't it? No. Don't want it quite that steep. It's alright. Just pick up even more resources. It's fine. It's fine. And in you go. And we are going to be building it with the new way that we come up with so that there is no clipping. And Actually, no, you can come down to one high, so then I can just pass under you easily. It's all right, I will get this done eventually. Um, we don't want you connected up straight away. No, thank you. Right, let's get these splitters in all the way around. At least we've got our lock on line now, so it does make this a touch easier. And in you go. In you go. And it is one line of each of these for all 16 machines, which is the good part about this. And in you go. I will bring this one round straight away. One, two, and around you go. We might as well make them uniform because they are all going to need an extra point in the middle. Um, one, two, there you go. And then splitters come in again, but this time they go this way. Yes. It seems closer this side, does it not? Or is it just me being crazy? No, it does seem marginally closer. So this is on the inside tile. That's on the outside tile. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> I am going to have to move them. I can't be doing with that. I've not got to move the power poles, you madman. man. 
I swear to God, if this tells me that it's um, uneven floor again, nah, I'm not going to be too happy. Let's get rid of you, because you're just going to get in the way for a minute. Now it needs to go back one further. Is that it? The back foot should be right on that. Back foot's right on line, back foot's right on the line. And if I put this splitter back in, that's a little bit better. Right, let's do this again then, shall we? And there, we're looking for the double green lines. There. I might not have had the um, sloping floor issue if I'd have got it right the first time, maybe. But who knows, we did fix it anyway. I am touching a wooden desk. I am touching a wooden desk. Don't do it to me, game. Don't do it. No! No! What is wrong with you? <sighs> I know how to fix it. It's just becoming annoying now. <sighs> For God's sake, game. Delete it. Delete all the flaws. See, that leg there seems stupid. It's got something to do with the back legs. Same if you look at the ones across there. They seem stupid. There's got to be something wrong with them. Let's try and get this one back in first. I don't know why they're doing that. So that tells me it wouldn't be something with the actual tiles then. It's something with the manufacturer. And just add more rage. Oh, I man managed to click on it with the lag spike. Go me. Are you just going to be nice and go back in? No, you're not. If I delete these two tiles. These two. I'll do the inside two as well. So that's the only foot that seems wonky for some reason. Do it quick. It's something to do with them back feet. If by any chance anybody from the game is watching this, which I think is wishful thinking like, but you never know. It does seem like a very minor problem that is easily fixed, but it's essentially a bug, so I guess people would like to know about it. I did place the first ones in the right place, didn't I? Yes, yes. I've got to get power back in, and I've got to tell them all what to do as well. Yay. Yay. And I've got to connect these back up. Did I connect them up the first time? I can't remember anymore. I only deleted one power line, right? I believe so. And you will go there and in and in. And you actually need to... It's already joined up. Madman. In and in. In and in and in and... In and crystal oscillators yet again. Yes, yes, and yes. We will get this done. This episode may be longer because we're already nearly at time, and I've done essentially nothing other than moan. Apologies, but we want it all to be in the right positions. I thought they weren't aligned then. It may have been the end of the video. <laughs> No, no it wouldn't. Come on, let's get these in. Enough messing around. We've only got to get the belts all the way around this. So yeah, possibly a good 40 minute episode, I'd have thought, maybe. Because I've got to do the raised ones next, and they're the more complicated ones. Right, and then you just come. One, two, in you go. We will go and hook all of these around the entire thing 
and in and round. Good, good. See, now we're doing the easy bit. Tedious, but easy. It's definitely easy. In you go. I know you can drag it from either end if it's going straight into a machine, but I'm, again, a creature of habit. I always seem to go from the same angles, and you go straight in there. We're keeping the nice right-angled base going on. I'm fairly sure every single turn in this base is a right angle. Feel free to watch every single episode at a reduced speed, and let me know if I've uh, screwed one up by one fraction or so, but... It can't be that much of an issue if I've not noticed it by now. We have got easily 120-ish hours into this um, play through now. At least I'm sure it is. My homework last night, just building the second floor for them two, took at least four hours with all the painting going around and whatnot. Oh, I'm committed. Or need committing. One of the two. Good. Right, now we want stacker there. I can't work out where the stackers need to be from here. Let's get the stackers all the way around first. And then I can run the belts all the way around. And then I can get the splitters in all the way around. Let's do it in a nice strategic way here, shall we? And there. And there. And were we actually reached to here? I think you that's definitely not six tiles. Beautiful. We're still going to have the one in the middle. Although it would be close as to whether or not it would um, go straight across to the other side. But for uniformity, on two. That was three. One, two. Try again. And same again around this side. Nice and easy. Once you know what you want to build, it gets so much easier. It's working out the resources for the buildings that can be the tricky part. But as I, I have recently been on uh, Reddit and been reading up on other how other people do things. Words are difficult, excuse me. Um, somebody gave advice to somebody new at the game and said you want to put down the buildings that you want and how many you want to produce and then you want to feed them. Nope. And that seems dead logical to me. Dead logical. So... Is it the one on the line? No. It's the one in front of the line. And then this should... Um, I'm fairly sure it's meant to be there. That's what I do on the other ones, is it not? Because the belt would get... One, two... Is it going to have to clip into it? I think it is. I've built these two close, haven't I? I'm not moving them again. Apologies, but it's going to clip just into the side of the belt. That'll be fine. I could also just move the splitters out one, but... Hmm. Alright, I'm going to take that back off for a minute, because I do need to be able to work from this one. And then we're going to run all the way around with it. Helps if you double-click, genius. And in you go. Like I say, we'll get the splitters momentarily. So do my other manufacturers sit one tile further back then? Like I say, I'm not moving them all again. They can just stay where they are now. Unless there's an e Well, until there's an easier way to move things very marginally like that. No, I'm not going through deleting the tiles on the floor again. I've done it several times now. As you can see... We just want to get our oscillators up, because then I want to go and chuck those into the research bench before this episode is finished, and then next episode come back and we can see what we get. It's the plan, anyway. So, these are going to clip very slightly into the end. Well, into the edge of the other belt. I'm sure it was one tile further forward on other places. It's fine. It's fine. And there and there. Is it going to be easier just doing it from this side? Probably, yeah. We're going to have a fair bit of jumping around here and there, but 
it'll be okay. And there you go. Nope. We do not want to go on the belt. I believe there. And in. I know. I said we don't want to go on the belt and then purposely stepped on it. My bad. There you go. How about if we do it on top of the splitter? That should be easier, right? Although I did snap that to the splitter, which probably isn't ideal. I need to do the splitters from this side, just so I can see if it's nice and straight. Like so. In and in. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. We are getting there. And there. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Like I said, I'm not moving all the manufacturers again. Not on camera, anyway. I may do it off camera. But then again, moving 16 of these, one tile different. Probably not. It's not going to benefit the game at all. And it is the most minuscule of clipping. I don't know. I've got rid of all the other clipping and then I'm putting more back in. But it's not a problem. It's not a problem. The actual items on the belts aren't touching it. And that's where um, I think people have got the problem. It's like, well, if it's clipping that far through the belt that it's touching the item on, then really it shouldn't work. Or I guess it's if it's touching the belt, then the conveyor belt wouldn't work because it's got something obstructing its path. But like I say, it's a very minor thing. And until they patch it so that nothing can clip into anything, which I don't see that happening, then, um, yeah. I'd say abuse it very slightly, but it's... It's minor. Very, very minor. So we've only really got one more line left to do, because these are essentially done when I'm rambling on about pathetic things. And there, and... Excuse me. There and there. Good okay, man. In you go. Love it when I get a line from each side. That tells me that I've got it pixel perfect. Well, I think I've got it pixel perfect. Like Spike. Come on. It probably also doesn't help that I've got everything set to Ultra. But my computer should be able to handle it. That's why I bought it. Not specifically for this game, but for games like this that require a bit more power than Slay the Spire. Obviously, that doesn't really take up much computer power, does it now? It's a card game. Admittedly, I have nearly got one year's worth of uh, Let's Dailies, and that will actually be the anniversary of this channel. So my very first episode was Slay the Spire Let's Daily, and I've continued with that every single day since I began. Not missed one day out yet. Admittedly, I had a day where um, my, what's it called, went off, my internet, so I had to replace the daily with a... Uh, Ascension run, I believe it was. But still, we classed it as a daily. I've basically done one episode per day for a year. Go me. Nearly. Anyway, nearly. We're not quite there yet. What am I on now? Uh, today will be 354. I've enjoyed all of it. Every single game. Two Point Hospital. What else have I played? Surviving Mars, twice. Um... Factorium. Admittedly, I'd like to do that again soon, but not yet. We already know what I'm playing next. Subnautica Sub-Zero. Did I not port? At least I know it reaches, so it doesn't really matter. Um, what else have we played? Factorio. Surviving Mars. Uh, Rimworld. We played Rimworld. I want to go back to that as well. I did talk to Toxic recently on one of his Rimworld videos about... Um, what I'd potentially do for a new series, and by the way, that is going. Because he's doing a peaceful playthrough at the minute, Robo Hotel, in case you want to go and have a look. It is dead cool. Um, I was on about that, because I, I've never played peaceful. I always go for the fighting ones, but I don't really like it. I'm more of a builder, not a fighter, as you can see with this game. Um, he did say it's always worth doing at least one peaceful playthrough, and I was on about doing an industrial playthrough. Excuse me. One, two. 
um, an industrial peaceful playthrough where we build a mega base. <clears throat> it's all right. I'm just working it out. See, this one will be able to go in the right place. Uh, yeah, a peaceful mega base sort of thing where we can get unlimited resources. There we go. We get in there. Admittedly, I've got to run around and put all the belts back in first. An industrial mega base, unlimited resources, no fighting. Unless bugs spawn when um, mountains are above head, but yeah, I do want to have another. In fact, it's just been ages in general since I've played RimWorld. That's why I enjoy watching Toxic so much. I don't tend to watch the games that I'm playing as such, unless it's brand new like Satisfactory was. I'd watched everybody playing that when it first came out for ideas. But now, I don't tend to watch as many people because I've got enough Satisfactory going on with my homework and whatnot without watching other people do it and giving me more ideas and making me want to rip even more things down and start again so I'm not doing that oh yeah we've still got to go and mount the manta I will do that before this series is done we will have a flying lesson with him oh in case the industrial beams I so nearly had enough to go all the way around um, just run through this nightmare and just go and grab some more very quickly it's alright, they're quite close to this end of the bus. We'll be fine. Oh, something else I saw on Reddit. The person that suggested doing the um, what you want to get out of that was just started horribly. When he said to the new person about you want to put the machine down that you want and how many you want and then work the resources into it, he also said never build a bus. Well, I beg to differ, sir. Respectfully, I think you're wrong. If you want to build a bus, build a goddamn bus. I've built a bus. I'd say it's worked out quite well, other than that. But then, I've made it work. It looks quite cool. What is happening? Why have we got leaves blowing in at us? And can I not just... I can just place it from this side. And then that one would be there. I'm doing this in the weirdest possible way, I'm aware. It would probably be easier. Well, I've got to get the um, splitter in first. Come on. And roughly there. All right then, maybe not. And you will go there. And you will go there, there. And in, and in. Oh, nearly at 40 minutes. This is loads easier, by the way, on um, assemblers. Because you can just stand on the little ledges that it provides you with. And you need to come one further back. And clip. And you need to go up there. And... Excuse me. In and in. Come on, I can't wait to hook this up. I can't wait. We've been, well, I assume you guys have already seen other people build this sort of thing. But I've been waiting so long to get to the new stuff. Just because I wanted to get the old stuff done and I've still not done it yet. Hence why we've not got supercomputers. But I want to see what the radars are like. If it shows me where some oil is further up that way, then I may be able to get the supercomputers to a high enough standard that it's worthy of people watching it because really if I do all this and then crap out at the last minute I don't think you're all going to be impressed are you is it just me or do they seem to encroach more and more as I get further and further around is this belt like slightly curved or something in you go how many more have I got for this side two only ten more to get them it's the placing of this one that's getting me. I really do have to concentrate for it. And there you go. And come on. You'll let me do it from this side, won't you? In and in. And I really hope I picked up enough encased industrial beams. Because I really didn't grab too many. I thought it would be more than enough for what we needed. But it's just two back, isn't it? Yeah, it is two back. Let's try and remember it. 
across. There we go. We're nearly there. Oh, yeah. I've got to get them belts back in as well. <laughs> anyway. Where do we want to go? On that line there-ish. And two. And clip. Excuse me. Oh, we should have enough belts. Just barely. But just barely is all we need. It is all we need. There we go, and one, two, and clip very slightly. Nothing for people to moan about, hopefully. There we go. Come on, we're cooking with gas now. We're getting through it. One, two, that is in the right place. I'm fairly sure. I'm not going to run out of anything, am I? Ever? No. Mmm, iron plates is getting a little bit low as well. And that's two, and there you go, and there you go. See, once you get into the rhythm of it, it's loads easier. Just a few more. Come on. One, and two, and there. Good, good. Oh. New episode of One Punch Man came out last night. That was beautiful. It was loads better. We've had so much filler recently. It looks like it's about to start kicking up a gear. Which I personally can't wait for. I have seen little bits of like the manga videos. If that makes any sense. I know manga is not a video. Why did I do that again? Um, on YouTube, it's like manga split up into cutscenes sort of stuff. I vaguely know what happens, but I did stop watching to a certain point. I knew what was going to happen in the tournament that's happened at the minute, but no. But past that, I really don't know what's going to happen. Next episode looks cool. If you watched the little bit of a spoiler at the end, I know I always say no spoilers, but it's not really a spoiler, it's a preview, which is probably the definition of the word spoiler, but never mind. Yeah, next episode's going to be dead cool. Well, most of them are dead cool, but still. That's only if you like anime, I guess. <clears throat> and you can go in and in and down and we're just going to get these beasts hooked up 140 please be enough uh, it's going to be very close come on we've got this I don't think we got this I've only got 100 more that uses about 10 it might just do it Oh. Um, didn't mean to do it like that. That did confuse me. In and in and nope and in. We're going to be just short, aren't we? Please don't. <laughs> I'm going to be short by like one, aren't I? No! I need three. I can't even hook it up until I've gone and got stuff anyway. Well, at least I've got the fast belt running back to the marketplace, so um, it's only going to be a quick sprint back. Just get one stack. It's all we'll need. Look how much of the inventory I've cleared out. Jesus. And thank you. Just get two stacks in case. I'd hate to have to run back again. So, I'm fairly confident we can hook these up and by the time it's start well, by the time it's produced anything, we'll already have that last one hooked up. It's not to a one per second standard, and it's not to a um, full Mark IV belt standard, but 30 per minute for something that we're not really going to use a massive amount of, I think, at least now, uh, seems good enough for me. And like I say, we want to finish this episode off by grabbing a few and ramming them into, is it the man machine? I wanted to call it Ada, but Ada's the other one, isn't it? Oh, we go. And yes, I did have to use a jetpack just to get up on top of here. So the first machine is going to eat everything for now. What's our limiting factor? The reinforced iron plates. 
We should have a stockpile, though. So by the time... Oh, there's our first oscillators. I missed it. How long do you take to craft? 32 seconds, really? Oh, was that slow? There's our first oscillators going in. Uh, yeah. Oh, don't fall off the edge, you stupid. Is there ladders on these things? No, there is not. God damn it. Anyway. Anyway. Um, yeah, we should have enough in the machines themselves of the reinforced iron plates to saturate all of this. How many machines would they be? I'm not sure off the top of my head. It might not be enough to saturate all this, but still, it's producing enough to supply all of these machines. I just want it to saturate all of them as soon as possible. It seems like, for the most part, we are getting there quite quickly. And these are starting to flow a bit better. I'll be happier when they're... Um, why do they disappear when they're facing a certain way? If I'm looking from this angle... Any? It's alright, we've probably only got one or two machines producing them at the minute. Oh yeah, they're not quite invisible, it's just the way they're facing. So, 100% efficiency, let's see where it's filled up to. 100% efficiency. 100% efficiency. 100% efficiency, it's going to stop sometime soon. 100% efficiency, maybe this one. 100% efficiency, fair enough. 100% efficiency, wow. Really? Zero. <laughs> and that's not even getting any reinforced iron plates. That's fine. This machine is still filling up, generally. Reinforced iron plates are still coming in strong. Yes, they are. Beautiful. While that belt is still fully compacted, it does mean that the machines are still spewing it out. But So, we've got our oscillators being made now. Let's go and see if we've got the 10 that we need to throw into the um, machine. We should have by now. Oh, look at that. We've got more than enough. I'm sure it was only 10. So, I need to find something to do between episodes, because I've actually got no homework to do at the minute. I guess I could go and build the foundation ready for beacons and whatnot. Well, really, we need to... Do we need to make beacons first? No, we need to make the sulfur first. Um, no. And crystal oscillators. And enjoy. 22 and a half minutes. And then that should... Hopefully, we've got nothing else to research, that's what I'm checking. I'm hoping this unlocks radars. Because I've got... Oh yeah, I've got the rifles there. Oh yeah, we still need to make Nobelisk. I will go out and test this rifle, by the way. Rapid fire weapon for self-defense has a mag size of 10. It's a cool looking rifle. I've still not tried the... Um, what's it called? The Scatter Rebar Gun. Yeah, still not tried that yet. We have still got to get around to these. It's just these three left, really, other than the explosives. But I think we're going to work on explosives next, and then we're going to finish the series off with the supercomputer. And then right at the end, we are going to have a guided tour of the base. And um, we'll have a look around everywhere and finish off probably going out and putting down a steam geyser on the last episode, maybe. Although, let's have a look at power now that we have got eight of those kicked on, because that may be a problem. We may have to do the geysers sometime soon. No. Now that the computers and whatnot have um, finished being made, it's better. But if we were to have all machines producing all the times... Have you even made anything yet? I don't think so. Not quite getting the cables, are you? I am getting a full line of cables coming in, aren't I? I should be doing... Yeah, it's just that these things actually need more cables than they do reinforced iron plates. So, yeah, when one of these gets made, it just chews up all of the line. That is a full bell, right? It does look full. And the fact that we're actually backing up on reinforced iron plates is wonderful. But, yeah, a uh, longer episode than usual yet again. Apologies, but... Um, 
yeah, we had some teething problems getting these all placed down and whatnot. But thank you very much for watching, especially if you've made it to the end. I would prefer if you left a comment or something to let me know if you've got to the end, because generally I don't think people do get to the end of these episodes. It'd just be nice to know. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some more other than that. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers!